We're trying to map data into a module inside of make.com. Now, when I run this module, I get an error. And here the WordPress API is actually pretty good and it tells me what that error is and how I should resolve it. You're not gonna be that lucky with the majority of APIs. Most of the time, it's not gonna tell you what field it is. It's just gonna tell you it's invalid. So if you do get that 400, it's most likely that you've mapped something incorrectly in the data here. In this case, I've tried to put words into this category field. Now, I assumed that it would accept words because what I see on the front end here is a list of words. However, one quick way to troubleshoot this is to select those values and then change it to map here. And now I can see that WordPress doesn't actually want the word that I'm seeing Instead, it has a number associated to each of those words. And so if I want to dynamically map my categories into here, well, I can't just feed in the words. I actually have to feed in the number representation of that word, the ID. So if I try this again with those numbers, I'll get a success for this one, hopefully. Invalid rest categories not type integer. So I'm still not getting a success. Let's have a look here. Okay, so I've got a success on that one. And now we'll try just mapping it this way with just a list of numbers. Okay, so this looks like it's a bit of a bug with the API for WordPress rather than the data that I'm sending. So in this case, if I'm sending it as a number list here, it doesn't like how I send it. So let's have a look at how we would resolve that. The first thing is that we need to figure out how does WordPress want to receive this data? Now I know that it wants to receive it as a number, but maybe it wants to receive it in a specific way for those numbers. To do that, do a search for the same data that I'm trying to update or create. In this case, it's a post. And now I've returned data for that search. And I wanna find data that has data that I'm getting an error for. So here's a blog post with category tags. And so I can see, well, here's the actual data that I'm trying to send in. It's accepting numbers, but let's go a little bit further here and see how it actually wants us to format that data. And it's a list of numbers within that category. They're not strings because they're not uh, encased in double quotation marks, but they could have been strings as well. And this is also helpful for other fields like, for instance, the status field. If I wanted to dynamically push in the status, well, I know that I need to use this keyword publish as a lowercase. So here would be the status field and I could select publish. Now, if I put in the uppercase publish, that would not be correct because WordPress actually wants the lowercase publish. But a more common one would be for something like categories. You might send the post content out to ChatGPT and say, hey, here's a list of my categories. Give me a list back that are relevant to this post. In that case, you'd want ChatGPT to return you the data for you to map into here. And you wouldn't be able to just have ChatGPT click the button to check the boxes. You'd have to pass in the actual IDs for the thing. Now, we're still going to get an error on this list of IDs, even though it's the correct format. And I'm assuming that it's because make here is probably stringifying these numbers. Let's just try sending one, see if that is successful okay so the issue here is that make is sending this as a single field i think so if we do our call again just going to see if i can troubleshoot this in real time and we've got our category we've only got one on that one i want to get one with two categories i'm going to have to just run this a second time because i need to make sure that i'm fetching data that has the data that I'm trying to send, right? So I want to send a list of categories. Therefore, I need to fetch a list of categories because I need to see, well, is it a list or is it a just a stringified text? So here's my list of numbers. And I'm just going to cheat and try to copy. Now, it should already send it as an array. So it's a bit funny that it doesn't, but we'll try just cheating here. So I know WordPress wants to accept that data. I'm just going to put that in here. And I'll just clean this up a little bit. Sometimes if you leave the spaces in for like arrays and objects, it can 
break the, the logic. You're better off just getting rid of all those spaces and make sure there's no space at the end. So we'll try that. Yeah, so see how it's it's stringifying the numbers or it's stringifying the text here. So see how we've got, it's got the array bracket, the two square brackets, but then it has stringified the data within that array. So that's an issue with make and how they're trying to process that data. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that it doesn't stringify the data. So here we did a lookup to see how WordPress wanted to get the data. Now WordPress says that it wants it as numbers, although in this case, when we tried to send that list of number to WordPress over here, what happened was make stringified that text. And we can see our input bundles here. See how it's put the quotations around the entire text. So this is how make stringified this little text here. It stringified all those numbers together as if they're one ID, right? The correct way would have been to stringify each number separately, right? Although technically we don't want strings, we want numbers, but WordPress will still convert these into numbers. We want it in this format and make had it in a different format, how it was automatically doing it. So let's add in a variable module here. And what I've done is I've just hard coded the same string that we've got, but here I'm doing an output of an array. So I'm using the split function and you can find that it's text split function. And what this does is it essentially turns any text into an array, provided that it has something to split the values by. Now the values could be split by anything, commas, semicolons, hyphens, whatever, brackets. As long as it's consistent between each of those groups, it will split it into an array. So our output here is an array of numbers. And that's the same format that WordPress wants us to send it. So we can see here we've got our, our array. Here it has a stringified the numbers, but that's not so important because WordPress can still see that it's a valid number, so it should still process it correctly. But it's given us the correct format that WordPress wants, an array of numbers. So I'm just going to put a filter on this just so I only process the first bundle. Now we've got our output of our number string or a number array and then we can see we've got a success now on our categories so if we look at our input data we can see well we've put in the correct array of values and then our output data will show that it's written correctly here as numbers so that's how to troubleshoot a field you can do that little trick with any field in any module you can even do it for, with custom API calls, as long as you can do a get call, which is getting data for something, well, then you'll be able to see how that's stored and then how the system wants you to receive it. It's a nice little trick. There's little quirks with every system. And so it's quite useful to do a call to see how that data is and see what it's going to accept as the data that you're sending it and then sort of reverse engineer it to then be able to send the data to the system and for that to accept it.